Before I start this video, a disclaimer is in order. This piece of wood has many cracks and burnt areas. I do not recommend turning anything like this. All turnings can be dangerous, some more than others. Know your wood and your tools and skill level. Only you can be responsible for yourself. What I have here is a piece of my drone that looks like it should have stayed in the fire pit. It's burnt inside here. It's cracked really deep. It's been burnt here. Maybe they couldn't burn it. A friend gave it to me. He thinks that somehow I can leave this stuff on here and turn something really cool, but I don't see how I can leave that. I'm going to study it for a while. I'm going to saw it up, see if I can mount it in the lathe and turn something out of it without it shattering into hundreds of pieces. After I cut into it, I think I'll know whether I should do it or not. Here I am cutting a flat spot so I can mount it against my chuck using the worm screw. And now uh, that might be some pretty attractive wood. Here's the piece of my drone. Got a hole in here for the wood worm screw. I'm going to mount this up. Stand far back when I turn it on. Let's see if it stays put. Okay, looks pretty square. Yeah, just about where I was hoping. Better get myself a flak jacket here and a steel pot. Okay, here we go. It's just a big hole going in here. These little pieces of bark are flying off. I think if I can get just through this crack, I'll be in this some solid wood here and here, and then I have a big hole up there, and that's where I'm thinking of turning down to from the other side. At this point, I'm not sure if this is worth it. I spend a lot of time trying to decide if I should just stop. At first it was hard to see if there would be enough solid wood to create anything, but as I turned things started showing up. One of the many times I stop to check to make sure the wood is still going to hold together. Okay, I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm trying to keep this thing from falling apart. At any time you think the wood is not safe to turn, then it's time to stop. So this is what it looks like so far. It's a mess. Okay, we've got the thicker jaws in. The dovetails on them. Just loosen that up. Squeeze it in there. Okay. 
Okay. Oh dear. My, my, my. I don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. Okay, Let's see where we're at here. I spent a lot of time looking the wood over, making sure it is still safe. See, there's a little better view of what's going on. I'm really going to have to leave this fairly thick up here. If I don't, I'm going to cut through this burned out channel. But I think I can still get down in there fairly deep and have it hold together and actually have a surface in here that I can sand and pretty up. This is, this is actually pretty cool right here. It's all ripply and very colorful. And I know this has been grown because of those tumors growing on the outside, but the coloration here, well, the madrone underneath the bark is kind of a reddish tint, but this thing's been cooked in a fire. It's not real easy turning without bowl gout, so I'm going to work with a carbide for a while. At uh, 690 RPMs. As the wood spins, you can see the missing wood. You can also see the tool clearly as the wood spins. I am finally starting to see a shape and thinking, yes, this was worth it. Now I will establish a depth and then figure out how much more I can remove from the walls. It is very thin in some of the areas right now, so I have to be very careful. I find it helpful to mark places I want to blend with a pencil. There are a number of tool marks I want to remove. I can see the pencil lines much easier than the little ridges that I want to blend. Right now I'm marking the top ridge for another design change. This helps eliminate an area that was bothering me the whole time.
Well, I made another decision. After examining this, this piece is really fragile. I don't want it to break off later. I'm going to go ahead and open this up here. That crack will then come up and make the corner. And it'll probably add a little more interest you can see inside of there a little better. If you look close, you can see the gouge right through the bowl here. Alright, I moved over to the other side and I'm going to just nibble away at that rim to try to get it to about where that pencil line is. And I'm just going to blend it down and then look at how to blend it to the rest of the body. Alright, I'm going to try the negative right scraper. I did all the sanding off camera. It was slow and tedious. I used my right angle sander. I sanded up to 500 grit. I left the piece in the lathe and turned it by hand to get all the areas. Alright, just finished sanding it up. It's uh, pretty smooth. I'm going to put a shellac based sanding sealer on it and uh, see if I missed anything in there. Feels real nice. There's there's actually uh, bug holes here and they're, they're filled. I have to decide if I want to dig those out. I'm going to put the sealer on it and have a look. But that's about all I'm going to do to this. I actually kind of like it. I'm going to brush this on for now, and I would rather maybe wipe it on, but uh, just because of all this burnt area here, I'll be able to get up against it easier. Well, I like what I'm seeing here. It's a pretty piece of wood. And actually, I, I like the debris the bug left in there. I think I might leave it. It's not going to get smooth, but if it wasn't there, it's just going to be a hole. Not sure how well you can see that. Maybe I'll switch the angle so we can see this going on. It's really pretty wood. All right, that's a that's a little better. Here's a good view to show all of the fire damage, rot, and whatever else went on in this piece. These were little, little areas that I'm calling tumors. I wish I knew more about what's going on, but the way I see it, these things kind of grew from something going on on the inside, and that must have been when it caught on fire, it chased it in, because these are hollow, and they, and they look like bark coming out of there and all these spots have a piece of that on there and this is just a big burnt out area here <laughs> 